Well, that was an excellent day. Wasn't even a hard day by normal standards, but uh, it pushes the limits of my legs what they can do right now. I got a long way to go. So I have to prepare for when Sherilyn leaves. Uh, she'll be leaving probably next month and uh, then I'll be alone. So I have to look for funding and people to survive for a while. And more importantly than that, well, that's a request, by the way, is I would like funding. Check it out if you like what I do. Uh, but, but more importantly than surviving is thriving. More important than thriving is creating and providing things that are actually going to cause the world to thrive. It is my belief, my strong belief after a lifetime of education, not in class, but self-education, is, is that the world is in for some really tough times. And so we have to be thinking about survival as a species. We might want to save our civilization somewhat. And that means we're going to have to change how we live. And that's what this whole project's all about. It's not all about me. Uh, right now, I'm most of the project. But uh, the philosophy of it is what can get distributed to the world. I want to do that for free. Somebody recently told me, well, you should sell books and you should sell some of your, your information and stuff. And it's like, yeah, I'm willing to do that. Like, I'm willing to provide special content for supporters more personal content perhaps but the knowledge that we produce here is something i want to be providing for free to the world how to build composting toilets how to do agriculture in a sustainable way actually sustainable how to ignore all the greenwashing bullshit and look at what energy systems actually pencil out we have some very hard work to do here that almost no one is doing so i hope you're on board on that team whether you're a financial supporter or not i will give you everything i have in terms of information and whether you're a financial supporter or not, I hope that you're looking at your own life. I'm a big fan of personal responsibility and how you can change the world. I know it's impossible. I know you're stuck where you're at and you have few options. We can't change things. Most everything is headed towards total destruction. But you can choose to, in your life, tweak things a little bit. Taking care of yourself, taking care of others, using less, and thinking in really an expanded way about culture as a whole and how we can design a different culture, a different way of living to serve the entire world. Yeah, that gets pretty lofty, doesn't it? Well, after a long day like this, I did buy a couple beers and I'm going to have those. I hope you have your ways to do a little self-care as well. So, adios, good luck. Thanks for coming with me on a trip to town. Sincerely, thank you for watching these videos. It makes me feel a little less alone and I know a lot of people are alone right now in the pandemic and everything. So thank you for coming with me. For me, this has been a big step. I've been in a year and a half of healing since this split second fall from a roof. I'm still weak and I'm gonna get better, but it's been a long haul. So I know a lot of people have supported me in that and have written words of encouragement. So thank you so much for being part of this whole project. I feel like a little kid. But I'm so happy. I went to town by myself. I can do my own things. Yay, I'm a big boy now. So, there is one more person to thank, and that's Sherilyn. She's been here, and she's helped me transition back into the forest. Uh, when I was so weak, I couldn't take care of myself at all. Today was an experiment in me becoming stronger, and mostly her role today was just videoing. And so, you know, I had to do everything myself, and that's an experiment in seeing if I can. Can I survive here? It's not easy.